Are you ready to go give more money to Konami so you can get your grubby little weeb hands on some card stock? Are you ready to see the new hot meta cards Konami had to put in gold just to keep the stock market from crashing on their release? Are you ready to learn how to chaz it up? First, let's go over how this unstoppable combo works and see if you're Insert appropriate gender pronoun here. enough to wield the power of the Chaz. Now, this deck likes to go second, but as you can see, we don't really care about interruptions. I summon Ojama Blue and use the field spell for some early damage. He banishes Ojama Blue, but I'm not worried at all. He smacks me for a bit. The life points don't matter. He stops my summon with Oja Match, but he can't stop the Chaz train. Next turn, Oja Match 2, Electric Boogaloo in theaters now. We crash Ojama Blue into his dragon, but again, life points don't matter. We search what we need, drop the third Oja Match, and get three cards off Oja Magic, which nets us a plus three. We have card advantage for days, guys. Get two Ajama Simulation, and we're ready to go. We use one, go into Saryuja, and get what we need. Draw some extra cards just to show off. Saryuja summons Arm Dragon level 5. We get him to level 7. Make XYZ Dragon Cannon use his effect... Make Saryuja into VW Tiger Catapult with Fusion Tag, and make V to Z Dragon Catapult Cannon. Banish the last dragon and make the main man Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. He says no, and the opponent scoops. Easy GG. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if my opponent doesn't summon anything? Well, you just go face. Once you're on the offensive, they get defensive, and they can't stop the pain train from rolling in. Arm Dragon gets in there and does some damage while the opponent can't find a way out. See, this dude's helpless, and once he sees that, he scoops and walks out. Here's a more typical example of the games with this deck. They set up the first few monsters, then you get to work. We go through the combo just like normal. I need to be more careful or I'm going to get smacked by his monsters. I go into Saryuja, and he sees what's coming, and scoops. This combo is so strong, you won't get to finish most of your games. You can see I have it in my hands right now. Two Ojama Simulations and a level 5 from Saryuja, and we'd be done. This is by far the craziest scenario. He plays this stuff, and gets a whole board of monsters, and in a gate that could cripple me. But we just play around it. We go through the motions, and Blue gets us our cards so we can make our plays. Arm Dragon level 5 comes out and gets rid of the problem. I make Arm Dragon level 7 to get rid of his tokens. But he manages to nuke my board, but we draw exactly what we need. Two fusion tags and a few summons later, and we've got the big guy on the field.
We pass turn, banish everything he owns, and now his cards won't work. We get the win, and that's how you top a locals. So, here's the deck list. You run two copies of each of the vanilla boys. They are the fuel to the fire. Next, we got three Ojama Blue. He crashes, searches, and gets you what you need to get out the main man. Only need one Arm Dragon level 7 and three level 5 just to resolve the Oja matches. One of each of the tiny machines so you can make the big box and pop some stuff along the way. Three level ups are needed to get out level 7. Three Ojama Simulation to get out the tiny bots. Three Ojama Country to make your life easier with extra summons and some stat changes. Three Oja Match to get those Arm Dragons and extra blue searches. One Oja Magic is all you need to get the fuel for the deck. Fusion Tag just in case you can't make both medium bots. Three Ojama Pajama to get out some extra searches and keep your fusion safe. And three Ojama Duo for a few special summons here and there. One copy of the main man, the Wincon, Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. One of each of the parts. A couple of backup plans. Saryuja for more cards. Some more backup plans here and there. You know, you'll probably never need these backup plans. They're just in here to fill up the deck space. No side deck necessary. This deck is flawless as is. There is no side deck. There's no need to change a thing in this whole deck list. All right, that's it for this video. I better see this deck sweeping the meta. Adios. Glory.